Welcome to CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. Today's game is between the Arizona Wildcats and the Houston Cougars. And here are two of the players we'll be tracking, and I'm sure our viewers as well. And there is the starting lineup for each team. The matchup in the center position should be exciting. These kids can make plays, you can really notice when they're on the floor. And just before things get underway, let's look at what each of these teams is going to be paying extra attention to. All right, of course, those records were from the 2008-2009 season, but the rosters are updated for 2022. Let's tip this thing off. Number one, Arizona. Number five, Houston. Arizona wins the tip after surviving TCU in overtime in the round of 32, knocking down the quick shot. Houston dominated UAB and then dominated Illinois as well. They are rolling here into the Sweet 16. A little hop step gets rejected, though. Arizona gets the stop. The third and down low, knocking it down. Of course, we got Gus Johnson and Bill Rafter on commentary as always. Pulling up. Not able to connect, but Carlton gets the rebound, puts it back up and in for the Cougars. Gets on the scoreboard. Got the high pick. Looking down low, Coloco knocks it down. Arizona, three trips, three scores so far. Off to a good start. Crowd chanting for U of A. Looking down low, contact heading to the line. Tommy Lloyd liking what he's seeing so far from his Wildcats. I know it's Fabian White that's at the line. Apparently a social sciences major. Knocks down the first one. Knocks down the second one as well. Making it six to four here early on. Getting trapped in the backcourt, able to escape. Coloco with it. Arizona has yet to miss a shot. A minute and a half gone so far. Over to Mathurin. Takes the three. Splash! Big three for Arizona there. Houston takes one of their own and they miss it. Coloco comes up with the rebound. Arizona looking to extend this lead. Two minutes gone in this first half. Three to go. Looking down low, turning, firing, Arizona knocks it down again. Five for five to start this game, look at that. Driving contact, knocks it down. A lob to Coloco and they put it down! Arizona, man, they are just on absolute fire up 13 to 6 here early on. What a start. And an assist on every single basket as well. They're playing fantastic offense. Two minutes left on the game. Looking down low is Carlton. Foul heading to the line. That one on Keir Carissa. Fabian White at the line. Two points. Both came at the line. Knocks down the first one. Houston trying to stick with Arizona here. Knocks down the second one as well. Making it a five-point game with two minutes to play. Bringing the pressure, Mathurin able to escape though. Looking to use the pick and roll, getting trapped. 
Escapes to Terry for three. Misses the shot. Arizona finally, finally ends up missing a shot. Tays more with it over in the corner. Looking down low, turning, firing. Carlton knocks it down to bring it to within three here. Kelvin Sampson saying, keep going inside. Good things will happen. Using the pick and roll. Oh, good take. Good finish by Mathurin. Benedict Mathurin with seven points already on three of three shooting. A minute 15 to go here in this first half. Taze Moore looking down low. Gets stolen away. Kyler Edwards turns it over. Terry with it. Over to Coloco looking down low. Here Crisso with it. Passes down low, and he loses the ball as well. Back-to-back -back turnovers committed in this game on the fast break. They find it to Fabian White, who puts it up and in. Six points for him now. Houston keeping it close with Arizona here, 15 to 12. Looking down low, Coloco to Tubalus. Doesn't connect, though. Tommy Lloyd saying they need ball reversals, telling them to swing it. Houston can tie it up here, bring it to within one after the hot start by Arizona. Houston's been sticking with them to tie it up. Splash! Okay, Houston. Tying it up at 15 here with under 10 seconds to play. Looking to drive contact. Heading to the line. That foul on Jamal Sheed with four seconds to go in this first half. Benedict Mathurin at the line. Seven points and a block so far. Knocks down the first one. Knocks down the second one as well, making it 17 to 15. Let's see if Houston can get a quick shot here. They're going to launch it from half court. And it falls out. So Arizona heads into the break with a two point lead. Both teams shooting really well. Arizona, you can see, is shooting 78%. Teams talking it over here at the half. Let's see if Houston can make this a game or if Arizona will pull away. Like Mathurin leading all scorers with nine. Carlton and Coloco tied with at, for the rebounding lead, and then Moore and Terry tied with the assist leaders. She puts it up and in, tying it up or tying it up here for the Houston Cougars. 17 to 17. Tied up here in the second half. Mathurin driving. Good take, good finish. I think that's 11 for him. Up 19 to 17. Tommy Lloyd liking what he was seeing. Over to Taze Moore. Looking down low, bad pass. Arizona comes up with the turnover. Here goes Terry. Contact, no foul call. Gets the offensive rebound, puts it up. And in. it looked like it went through the net. That should have been a turnover. Like an offensive basket interference, but either way, the game counts at Arizona now, up by four. And Houston misses the close range shot there. Arizona looking to extend this lead. A third with it. Looking down low to Tubalus. Doesn't connect. He's been missing a couple of those close ones. Bad pass. Uh-oh, Arizona on the fast break. Coloco puts it up and in. 23 to 17. And this hometown crowd is showing their appreciation. Look at them. At the elbow. Houston knocks it down. 23 to 19. 
trying to stick with Arizona here. Three minutes to play in the second half. Passing over to Terry. Looking to use the pick and roll. Brings it back out. Under three minutes to play now. Can they get something going on offense? Fading away. Knocks it down. A deep two for Arizona. Now up by six. Starting to pull away. Houston needs a score here. Tays Moore with it. Looking down low. Dangerous pass. It gets to him though. Kyler Edwards puts it up and in. Cutting the deficit back to four. Tubalist misses again, man. They just need him to stop taking shots. Houston can bring it to one possession game here. Fabian White doesn't connect. That would have cut the deficit to two. Two minutes to play. Can Arizona hang on? Or will Houston make their comeback? Mathurin, contact, no foul call. It doesn't matter. He strong arms it in, 27 to 21. with it, looking down low, good pass. Good finish by Taze Moore. Four point game. As it is getting late. Tubalist gets rejected. <laughs> he is like over four or over five this game. If I'm Tommy Lloyd, I'm just taking him out. But Houston with the chance to cut it to two or one here. Bad pass, they turn the ball over. You can't be doing that this late in the game. Arizona can just slow things down here if they want to. Almost turning it over, able to hang on to it. Looking down low to Mathurin, getting double. Hits the bottom of the backboard. Houston comes up with the steal. Only two points in the paint this entire game. Pulling up. They miss the shot. 27 to 23. Houston having these empty trips on the offensive end. They can't be doing it when they're down by four. Terry with it. A third and a three here would be a dagger. They look down low to Coloco, but they turn the ball over. Houston takes a timeout. All right, coming out of the timeout, let's see what Houston drew up. 40 seconds to play. You prefer a three, but you just got to get points on the board because you're going to have to foul either way. Sheed with it. Look, dangerous pass. They get a tough fall, though, cutting the deficit to two. They're going to have to foul. They don't have enough time to not foul here. There they go. Now they decide to foul. Wasted almost five seconds there. Now they got to play the fouling game. Down by two. They get it too much. They're in there. And that foul on Kyler Edwards. Eighteen point nine seconds left now. Seventeen point eight, and Jamal Sheed fouls out with five points, bringing in the substitutes. They get it to Carissa here, 15.7 seconds left for the clutch free throws. Two points on one and two shooting so far for here, Carissa. Two clutch free throws here. It's actually, it's a one and one. Knocks down the first one. This one to make it a two possession game. And it falls. Houston takes a timeout, two possession game. All right, after both teams talked it over, let's see what they draw up. Houston has to get a quick three-point shot. The center's with it, that's not who they want. They have the, oh, nope, they get the offensive rebound. It gets rejected, though. 
4.3 seconds left. It's pretty much over. Fans chanting to warm up the bus. Now they're bringing in all the substitutes. Benedict Mathurin, a perfect game. Look at that. 15 points on 6 of 6 shooting from the field. Oh, 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 and it rolls in. Look at that, the lucky bounce. Looking to make every single shot that he takes, whether it be from the field or from the line. Knocks it down. 17 points for Mathurin now. And Houston takes a timeout, even though they're down by six with four seconds left. All right, four seconds left here. Houston just looking to close this out. They launch the full court or the half court heat, and Arizona will advance to the Elite Eight here in this simulation. All right, let's check out those final statistics from Arizona. Sweet 16 win. Carlton had four. Fabian White with six. Taze Moore with six. Kyler Edwards with four. And then Sheed with five. Then over for Arizona. Coloco with six. Tubalus with four. Dalen Terry with nothing but four assists. Chris with four. And then, of course, Benedict Mathurin, 17 points. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all later.